Blueberry, come here, be in my video. Will you be in my video? You go there? Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, I have some news that I was hoping to never have to share on this channel. Um, Blueberry got outside. and flew straight through an open door. It was not a wide open door, it was just a cracked open door, but Blue, come tell this story with me. All right, had to change my battery. Okay, Blueberry, come back. Thank you, thank you. All right, so, were you hanging out there? Thank you, thank you. Someone explain what happened, because it was the longest four minutes of my life. All right, so we took, I think, what was Blueberry's third road trip now, and it was quite long. <laughs> Blueberry's first time in the RV. Ready to check it out? We stopped in Montana for some in-home consultations. Blueberry, you're adorable. There's just so much that she's been exposed to. But it wasn't until we stayed in a little cottage in Moab, Utah for about two and a half weeks and we were trying to be so careful. But for me, I really wanted to be able to have her out in the cottage even though I knew <clears throat> it was dangerous, which it's dangerous in any scenario when you have open doors, people coming and going, things like that. So we try to be really mindful, keep doors locked so that people have to knock and not just like blast in. Well, at this cottage, it was me, my husband, my daughter, who is seven years old now, and then our photographer, Rachel. And we were all staying in the cottage and a friend of ours came over to tell Rachel something or tell us something and pass a message on. And when Rachel answered the door, I remember her saying to Ashlyn, hey, Blueberry is out. And it was kind of our thing. Like if Blueberry was out, people had to use a separate door that was more around. It wasn't the sliding glass door that was right there in the middle of the cottage. We tried to be really careful and have everybody be really mindful about Blueberry being out and around the cottage. Well, <laughs> shortly after she told Ashlyn the blueberry was out, blueberry just started flying for where Rachel was and I screamed. I think, yeah, I screamed. I don't know what I said, but I was trying to convey that blueberry was headed that way 
and before anybody could do anything, she was out the door. And I was running after her to see if I could see where she went because she literally flew out this door. I saw her fly left, turn a tree, like around a corner of a tree and just out of my sight. And I was like, she's gone forever. My daughter's gonna hate me. And then I'm gonna have to tell all of YouTube that I lost my budgie. Luckily, um, Ashlyn's husband, David, and they are free flight students, were both out there. I screamed. I thought that I only screamed Dave's name, but I did not. He was on a consult in the other room and luckily knew from the way that I screamed that Blueberry had gotten outside. And he came running out. I was pretty much like an insta failure. I was instantly thinking the worst. I had lost sight of her. I just thought it was over. I was like, she's just been let out into the world. She's gone. She flew 50 miles away. Like, and I know it sounds so stupid, but you don't have a lot of logic when you're in the mode and state of panic. So I had none. And I was just like lost out of sight. She flew away forever. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna tell Capri? I'm gonna go cry, head in the sand. Um, and then Dave's like, she's right there. And I was like, what? What do you mean she's right there? And sure enough, she was there in the tree that I thought I saw her fly and turn a corner of and keep going because uh, I lost sight of her. I lost sight of her because she actually was in that tree. And I was like, okay. So I came down to earth for a half second and was like, maybe there's a chance. Um, and we have done recall training and flight training with Blueberry, who is happily chewing on a toy right now. She's so cute. Just have to show you guys. <laughs> um, so we have done all the training, not in preparation of taking Blueberry uh, intentionally outside for free flight, but for these scenarios, the O oh blank scenarios, um, where they get out because it's, as Dave always tells me, it's not a question of if, it's when. And birds just get out, it's accidental, it happens. It happens if they're clipped, it happens if they're flighted. Um, Ashlyn was there, she's my numbers person, and she literally <laughs> was like, that took four minutes. So what happened was she was in the tree, I called her down, Dave, of course, got the video camera out. Rachel, of course, got her camera out. <laughs> and everybody got my mere panic. Well, Blueberry looked like she was gonna come to me and I was so relieved. And then she flew right past me and I was like utter devastation again. And she landed in another tree. Hey, Well, it's not going anywhere. But she was right in front of our cottage. And from that tree, Dave actually jumped up on the back of our truck and held out this bowl that I have that I keep. It's like a, a mix of, it's, it's basically what I use to diet convert blueberry, but I always keep it on hand unless, it, like just in case I need something real powerful out of blueberry because it has the old store-bought seed mix in it that she goes nuts for. And then it's blended with some other stuff. So I had brought that bowl out at some point and given it to Dave. He held it up and blueberry flew right down to the bowl. And I was like, for the love of God, just hand me the bowl, get me my bird, OMG. And uh, so Dave, finally passes the bowl to me with blueberry on it and I start walking towards the cottage and then he jumped off the back of the truck and it just made like a loud bam noise and off blueberry flew again. And I was just like, are you kidding me right now? I was so angry and flustered and freaked all over again. Um, and she went back into that initial tree and then she flew she flew down to the top of the door because I finally I opened the door so that that wouldn't be one more step I needed to do when I hopefully got her down again. She flew to the top of the door. 
I put my hand out, she flew to me, and inside we went. <laughs> um, and Ashlyn literally told me, she's like, Jamie, guess how long that was? And I was just like, I don't even know. It felt like hours. It was so stressful. It felt like a long time. Like, I have no idea how long was it. And she told me it lasted exactly four minutes. Four minutes. I couldn't believe it. I was like, you've got to be joking. It was way longer than four minutes. She's like, no, four minutes. And I was having a hard time coming down from this because I was shocked, I was scared, I was panicky, all the things. And um, all my flight students were around me because we were literally on a flight trip. And they were all just like, oh my gosh, that was amazing, that was the best thing ever. Just goes to show, like the training really works and it's for all sizes of birds and that everybody should do it because we all have those moments. And they were so positive and uplifting and I was just sitting there like, I'm never letting Blueberry out of the cage again. <laughs> Just kidding. But that's literally how I felt. I was like, I'm going to put you in a little bubble where nothing can ever happen. Um, but I did want to draw attention to the fact that like you guys, even if you have no intention of ever taking your bird outside to free fly outdoors or whatever it is, please, please, for the love of God, do the training as if you were. Just do the training as if you were. Um, because I think that because I have desensitized Blueberry, it was not her first time outside. We screened in the porch for her, which is an outdoor porch, and she is outdoors all the time as far as like in a safe environment. She's exposed to all the noises, the sound, the wind, all those things. That wasn't shocking to her. I think the whole experience wasn't shocking to her. <laughs> It was shocking to me. Um, I was traumatized, <laughs> but she honestly, she seemed fine. Like it really wasn't that different. And I've recall trained her just as I do my other birds. I just never, I never had the intention of taking that little bird outside. And I do have to say, like it gave me more confidence. I still don't plan on free flight training blueberry um intentionally but i'm so grateful that i have treated her and done all the training as if i would um, because it really is just a matter of time for people to have these accidents you can't control everything um, as proven with this story this had nothing to do with my immediate family or anything it wasn't my daughter that left the door open it wasn't the dog that pushed the door open it wasn't anything like that. It wasn't the wind blowing in. It was just like two people who were very aware that Blueberry was out trying to have a speedy conversation in time to shut the door and it just didn't happen. Um, gosh, you know, so please flight train your birds, you guys. And even uh, Capri had made a mention to Dave after the whole thing had happened. She was like, should we clip Blueberry's wings so that she can't fly away if that ever happens again? And Dave made sure to educate her in that, in that scenario and just tell her that if her wings were clipped, she could have been totally out of control in her flight or something could have seen her as a um, easy target and, and capitalized on that. And she may not have possessed the skills to come back because she was clipped and it would have been much harder to find her and get her. And I just have to say like hearing a budgies <laughs> contact call outside, I honestly didn't think that I would ever be able to hear a contact call from a budgie and blueberry. I heard you girl. I heard you. Um, so anyways, Everybody was much more careful <laughs> throughout the trip. Blueberry has not gotten out since, but I didn't want to hide the fact that this happened to us. It's such a typical scenario that I'm embarrassed in a way that it happened to us. Um, we've always been scared of it happening because we travel with Blueberry so extensively. She's in the car. Uh, she was in an RV out in the middle of the woods with us. She's in various hotels. Um, I just feel like we're in scenarios where we're always like, OMG, this might happen. Is Blueberry put away before you open a door? And there's been so many times when somebody goes to get out of the car and we're like, wait, Blueberry's out. Like. It's just almost happened so many times that when it did actually happen, 
<laughs> the fact that it shocked me now that I'm saying all this out loud is kind of silly, but still it just, it will shock you. And thank goodness for Dave who can think like a logical person, human being, because I literally ran outside defeated. So please keep your head on straight. I have a free download on how to recover a lost bird. Um, it has information on what to look for. The cool thing is, is that our flight student David was there and he immediately got to a really good spot, a vantage point to be able to see. He was breaking up pine nuts in his pocket, not knowing whether or not budgies liked pine nuts, but he's like, at least I'll have something. And all of his training knowledge just like took control and he was on it and he was watching for us and we had eyes and it was just so, so amazing of an experience even though it was incredibly stressful and I'm just glad that it ended well because blueberry is the cutest thing in the entire world and I would never want to lose her. So I'm grateful this ended well. This could be a different outcome if there was a storm outside or if there were predators closer by outside like dogs or kids or a little bit more chaos could have completely changed the scenario and the situation. Um, please desensitize your birds. Please train them. Please flight train them. Please don't clip them. Give them the skills they need to come back. Um, don't handicap them if this scenario comes up. So just wanted to share that. Blueberry's totally lost interest in me because she is now preening in the window like an adorable little blue muffin that she is um blueberry hey blue blue do you want to come back and say bye blue blueberry got her attention just think about it you're thinking about it blue blueberry love you the most just love you the most so glad that you're safe that you're home safe all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember the accidents happen to everybody, self-included. It's how, it's how we learn. Love you, Blue. I just love you. My favorite budgie in the whole world. <laughs> Blueberry. Oh, good girl. <laughs>